Python loops. Here's the code to loop. If I say for i in range 5, let's try printing hello. So I'll save this and I'll run this. It's going to say hello five times. One, two, three, four, five. So what we have here is for i, variable i, this is any arbitrary variable in range 5. So here this is the number of times that we're going to loop 5 times and we're going to print hello. Now let me try something else. Let's print i. So let's run this which is f5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's interesting how we're starting at 0 instead of 1 and we're ending at 4 instead of 5. But still if you actually count 1 two, three, four, five. We're still looping five times. It just so happens that that variable i is advancing um, by one, but it's starting at zero. Okay, so it's interesting how in Python, this variable i starts off at zero and it actually advances by itself. So you don't actually have to say i equals i plus one. Now, <clears throat> If um, if we have a separate variable, if I say x equals 1, you could also print out x. But then in this case, because x is a variable that's set to 1, and we're printing x as i loops over and over, even though i is advancing, x is not. So here we get the output if I run it. Run module we get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So if you, we want to advance it, we press enter, we say x equals x plus 1. So let me run this now. Run, run module. We can see that x is counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the case you want x to start off at 10, and you want to decrease x by 1, we would say x equals x minus 1. So the initial value of x would be 10, and it would be starting to count down 5 times. So let's run it. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And what if we want to count down more? We would have to loop 10 times. So let's save that. Let's run it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And when the loop ends, that's when we can type in some more code outside of the loop. So I'll print blast off. So what's happening here is you have a loop, whatever is indented, tabbed within this loop. This is looping, this, these two lines here are looping 10 times. And once it's finished, the cursor goes here and the computer tries to execute the next line which is over here. So if we run this, it says 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, blast off. So just pay attention to the structure of the for loop for i in range bracket 10. And that's the way a for loop works. Congratulations, now you have better insight about Python loops.